It was all going so well for Quinn Hayward. In the fall, the senior rower helped the Bobcats' first varsity eight achieve a team record third place finish at the prestigious head of the Charles Regatta. He was standing tall until... I basically have herniated a disc in my lower back and it's protruding into my sciatic nerve. It is painful, but it is treatable. It just takes time. So Hayward is not rowing this spring, his final season as a Bobcat. Losing the six foot nine Hayward was definitely a setback for the first varsity eight boat. Devastated, honestly, it was a huge, you know, He's the fastest kid in our boat. He's the biggest kid in our boat. So to like take that loss so early in the season was kind of rough. Considering his injury, Hayward could be relaxing and no one would blame him. But that's not who he is. Being injured senior spring, I really didn't want to take this opportunity to go sit on a couch and do nothing for the rest of the year. And so I tried to look for ways that I could give back to the program and continue to help the guys the way they've all helped me. So he comes every morning, so we wake up 5 a.m. every day. He doesn't have to do that. He comes every single day, um, brings down oars, helps with boats, uh, rigs our boat, you know, and then just like helps with the guys. It's great, so helped out a lot. His teammates appreciate Hayward's dedication and so do the coaches. He's a great kid. He towers over the rest of them and, and shows this great personality of bringing a smile every morning, having the guys work hard. He was there at every erg practice and he couldn't erg but he would get on a bike and then come back and watch technique on the erg and be there to fight with them through the winter. He was out here breaking ice and the whole time he knew that he wasn't going to be in a boat. Last Saturday, the men's first and second varsity eight boats won their respective grand finals at the New England Rowing Championships. It was crazy. It's being here and watching from a launch perspective or from the sidelines, you really get to see the amount of work everybody puts into each boat and just the pure man hours that go into every single piece of the stroke. And so for them to come across that finish line with open water on every other boat was moving to say the least. If the Bobcats want to compete at the IRA National Championship for the first time in program history, the first Varsity 8 will need to win its grand final Friday at the National Invitational Rowing Championships. Quinn Hayward will be there, not only watching, but helping his teammates help themselves to a victory. For Bates Athletics, I'm Aaron Morris.